Uh, Brother Haider says that there is an individual, and he gives his name. He's a citizen of Pakistan claiming that Allah is showing him divine dreams and telling him about the future and claiming that most of his dreams came true. I personally do not believe a single word he says. Can you please let everybody know what kind of people these are? First of all, I advise brothers and sisters not to send names unless it is necessary. Now, the name he quoted, I don't know the person, and I might be slandering on air someone who is righteous, practicing, etc. And this person, uh, Brother Haider, might be just interested in tarnishing his reputation. I, I don't know. But without giving names, if a person claims to be righteous, to be practicing, and to see divine dreams and that Allah is speaking to him and telling him things about the future and he wants people to follow him, this is exactly what we had addressed just before the break. That when you want exposure, you do anything. Even if you have to lie, even if you have to become an advocate of the devil, there's no problem for you. And this is problematic. It was reported before that in one of the seasons of Hajj, the pilgrims, while going around the Kaaba, caught a man, a Bedouin, trying to get some feces and soiling the Kaaba with it. And Najasa, impurity. They got hold of him, they beat him up, and they took him to the Muslim ruler. And the Muslim ruler looked at him and said, Subhanallah, why did you do what you had done? Are you a Muslim? He says, yes, I'm a Muslim. So why, why were you trying to, to soil the Kaaba with feces? He said, I wanted to be remembered by the people, even if they curse me. So years later, they would say, do you remember so-and-so the Bedouin? May Allah curse him. So people acknowledge him, know him, and know his name, even if it was through cursing him. So wanting fame, wanting to become exposed, wanting to be well-known among others, this is one of the greatest diseases and illnesses of the heart. May Allah Azza wa protect us. No doubt such an individual who claims that he has divine dreams is a soothsayer. Someone is visited frequently by jinn, manipulating his head, telling him 99 lies. And one true thing that they eavesdropped from the heavens. And people believe them. Either he's a soothsayer or he's a blatant liar, making things up for the fame, for the exposure in the media. And after a few years, when people discover that he is a blatant liar, he would have gained millions of rupees, uh, real estates, mansions, and become rich. So what? Let them curse him. This is how people think, may Allah Azza wa Jal save us and protect us from such lies.